up guys beautiful morning out the sun is high we got the pond out there lots of people fishing for stock trout but we're gonna get in there with the newly boat kayaks and hopefully get some nice trout on the fly yes they're ugly yes they're stockers but they are gonna taste good we're gonna try and catch some and do a catch and cook today maybe if we're lucky we'll even get some morels and just have an awesome catch and cook we might hit the river too i'm not sure but i'm just excited to get out in these awesome kayaks do some floating around in the pond some fly fishing some spin fishing and hopefully catch some nice trout Rock bass. Not what we're going for. There's actually a trout right over here though, so I'm gonna get this guy back in the water and... We're probably gonna wanna take two cars and put in at the dam and just float down, you know what I'm saying? Why are you so good at this? They all just destroyed it. Is there a bunch in there this were, slap? There were like three. It's all on you, I can't move at all. You gotta turn them in. Oh, that's a... <laughs> the big dog. Oh, I got one. Woodward, I'm hooked up. Oh, it's a bass. Wait, no, it's a brown. It's a brown. We got to witness it. We just got to the I hope they catch one. Woo! Yes. Good looking one. These are the pretty, the brown ones are pretty. All right, guys, as you can see, we're not at the pond anymore. And I just got this little brown here, which is obviously a stalker, and we're gonna eat it later, do a little catch and cook. But so we got the kayaks up there. We're gonna take them down there, float the whole stretch of river, hopefully find some more trout. But for now, we're just gonna stick around here at the dam, hopefully catch a couple more from shore because we wanna do a nice little catch and cook with these guys. All right guys, so all we're doing is just drifting down the river and as you can see, I'm standing in the kayak. It's so awesome to be able to stand, to see everything around and cast at them. We've seen a couple fish so far, but not too many left over. Hopefully we can get one more fish to add to the catch and cook. It's about to be an easy fish. Oh, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Tank of a bow right there. Oh, no, are you kidding me? A big ass bow just bit it. There we go, yes! Nice one. Bit it twice. I'm in trouble now though. Come on fish, use your big motor tail and pull me out of this. All right guys, so I did end up getting that fish in. There it is. Sorry to see it on the stringer, but these are stockers and they're ugly no matter what. So it was awesome to get it on the streamer fly. That's what I've been doing. I got that first fish on a minnow, but I've been stripping streamers for the rest of the float and got lots of bites, but this is the first one I actually hooked up with. Got it to bite once and then it came back and ate it again. So that might be the last fish I catch though. There's only a couple bends left before we get to the takeout, but either way, it was a fun time. It was awesome just learning to stand in these kayaks and learn to stand and fish. It's so easy to see all the fish and really make good presentations to them. So it's been a really good float. All right guys, off the river, as you can see, I did try some morel hunting. I was hunting in these woods here. I found morels here before, but I didn't find any today. I don't have much time, so I gotta go, and I'll pick up the video when I'm cooking up that fish. All right, so I know I didn't get you guys a very good look at the fish, but here they are, obviously dead, looking even worse than they did alive, but the usual stubby fins. This one actually has half a tail fin there, pretty impressive, but weird deformed heads. I know these fish look gross. That's just because they're stockers. They've lived in the hatchery their whole life. These are broodstock fish, so that's why they're so big and so old. 
Anyways, I'm gonna cut into these. I'm gonna show you guys what the fillets look like and I think you might be surprised. There's the brown. That's the brown meat. It looks all right. It doesn't look fantastic or anything, but it looks pretty good. I'm sure it'll taste just fine. Now it's time for the big rainbow. So here's the meat of that rainbow. Nothing special, but like I said, it's not gross or anything. It also has some little eggs here, which is interesting. They're not like normal steelhead eggs on these two, but kind of cool to see. All right, it's finally time to cook these fish. It's actually a different day, and obviously I'm at my house. As you can see, I'm not out in the water, but it's still going to be a quality catch and cook, and they're going to taste extra good because I have the time to actually prepare these things properly. All right, so I got the meat here, and what I did was I have the two brown fillets, one on each side, and then I cut those massive rainbow fillets into three pieces because they're so big, so that's what you're seeing. Then I put a bunch of butter on there because butter is most important, and butter is going to be in both of the recipes. All right, so for the recipes here, this one's nice and simple. They're both simple, actually. I want to make sure that we can taste the flavor of this mutant trout, see what it's like. This one, we got lemon, butter, salt, and pepper. Then this one is the same recipe that I used in my last Catch and Cook video, which is just butter, honey, and then parsley. So I think these are both going to be very, very good. And I can't wait to try out what this trout tastes like. This is a lot of fish. All right, we'll leave them in for maybe, I don't know, six, seven minutes or so, then we'll flip them. All right, we got the stuff out here. This is the one for lemon. It's well cooked and it smells amazing. And that's the other one. It smells equally amazing. All right guys, got the two different kinds of trout here. Got my mom recording for me. This is the one with the lemon. Let's see if we can get some. It's a little cold. It's actually a little fishy even for trout, I'm not going to lie, but it's still good. It's just, it's kind of bland. The other one, I have higher hopes for this one. This one's a lot better. That recipe is amazing. I might just have to do that for every fish because it's so good. So sweet. Alright guys, nothing special here, just a short video showing you guys some stock trout fishing from the new kayaks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.